Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button. We are now here at the recruiting special. We do it in every series. And we have a lot of fun with it. So you don't want to miss any action in this video. You'll get to see if you did make it onto the recruiting list. It's a lot different than NCAA football because recruiting in this game is a lot harder. And it's a lot harder to get the guys that you create. But first, let's look at our squad and see how they're looking in the early parts of the season, just so we know who we should be going after in recruiting. So let's talk about points per game first. We look at AJ Starr, a junior uh, scoring 11 points a game. Falkering is averaging 10. And then Jamil Aziz, a freshman, is averaging 8.8. .8. I want to see that up to double digits. I didn't expect him to average this many points and be the third leading scorer on our team as a freshman, but he's doing that. And he's not even actually in the top five in minutes per game, which is actually really surprising. It looks like, you know, when he gets in the game, he's doing a lot of things. Juice Harrison's actually averaging seven off the bench. He's shooting actually pretty well. If you look at his percentage here, uh, shooting 37% from the field, that's actually pretty low, but shooting 34% from the three. That's actually really, really good for what he does coming off the bench. I kind of like that. And he is a sophomore, so I actually kind of want to keep him coming off the bench. Even if he's our best point guard, probably he's going to be next year because Braden Sexton is a senior right below him at 62 overall. But I do like his potential coming off the bench. He's got a 74 three-point shot, and I think he's pretty good. Jamal Patterson is a sophomore. We do kind of have a young uh, kind of forward roster here. If you look at our forwards here, Jamila Aziz is a freshman. Uh, Patterson is a uh, sophomore. And actually, Star is a junior. So we are going to need to replace Star as our leading, uh, our leading scorer. And I'm assuming that Aziz is probably going to take that over next year. But one thing I do want is shooting off the bench. And besides Juice Harrison, we don't really have too many shooters off the bench. James Giordano is hurt, so that does hurt us right now. But Kali is a junior. He has played a little bit. He's averaging three points per game. And let's see what his three points are. He's only attempted four threes, uh, only making one so far. And then looking at the rest of our guys, Leonidas is actually averaging three and two. I I'm actually surprised he's not averaging more. But looking at defense, I do want to improve here a little bit because looking at blocks per game, Falkering is the only one averaging a block. He's averaging one and a half. And then looking at steals, we actually are doing pretty good with steals. But, you know, one area I do want to improve here is assists per game. You see we have nobody that averages over two assists. And that's something that we have to address in recruiting. So let's hop into it. So remember the recruiting rules in this legacy mode. We are going to lock out the top 100 players with each winning season we will unlock 20 more so that means in season two if we do have a winning season we get to unlock uh 20 more and the top 80 will be locked and so on with each season so let's start with the juniors first starting with anthony brunson and anthony brunson is a 6'4 210 point guard and we are kind of on his radar. We want to kind of give him a look right now, though we're on ninth on, on his list. I mean, that's pretty surprising. But he kind of reminds me of Emmanuel Moutier. He can do it all. He's not a great shooter, but he can defend. He can drive to the hoop, and he can pass at a pretty good rate. So I like him. Moving down to another junior point guard out of Burlington, uh, Vermont here. Gavin Brenham, and he's six foot 183, and he's a pretty good prospect as well. He kind of reminds me of Matthew Della Vadova. He plays good defense. He shoots the ball pretty well, and he feeds off of teammates. He's a team player. He plays good defense. I like that a lot. So next on our list, let's talk about Casey McDonald. He's a high school junior. He's 6'10", 280 out of Kenosha, Wisconsin. And he, we're actually fifth on his list. I mean, we're in the running. We are fifth, though. So we do kind of have a lot of ground to make up. Remember, this is Harvard. We don't really have uh, any ground to kind of build on because we're not really that great. But one thing about Casey McDonald is that he can shoot the three pretty well. We don't really have anything unlocked. But we do want to kind of scout him throughout the season. And I want to use these points wisely. They are kind of tough to keep up with. But we definitely want to keep eye on him. But the guy I'm probably the most high on is five-star recruit Mike Gonzalez out of Malibu, California. 
I'm not sure if we'll have a real legit shot at him because he is really, really good. He's super athletic. He kind of reminds me of Blake Griffin where he can kind of be kind of a point forward and be a high flyer. He can do it all. I'm really, really excited for him. We don't really have any of his ratings unlocked yet because we're more fo focused on the seniors, but he's a guy to keep your eye on. Now let's talk about 6'5", Aiden Fragoso out of Alhambra, California, the number 143 ranked recruit in the senior class. He can actually shoot the ball really well. He reminds me of Wesley Matthews. He's not going to be a prolific scorer, but when he shoots, he can score. And here's the thing. We are third on his list. I'm pretty sure we're out of his league. But, hey, if we have him on the board, we did create him as a custom recruit. But, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we have a legit shot with him. So, we're actually going to hold off and offer him a scholarship. We have four, and we're going to save that one. Now, let's talk about a guy that I think we have a pretty good shot at. Michael Hughes, he reminds me of the younger version of J.R. Smith. He's not, you know, too wild like J.R. Smith. He kind of plays more under control. But he's athletic, he can shoot the ball, he can do it all. And one thing I like about him is that he is 6'7 as a shooting guard. So we're going to have some size at, at the two guard. And like I said, the comparison here I give is kind of a younger J.R. Smith. He can defend at an all right rate, but he does use his 6'7 frame to guard the smaller guard. So it does make a huge difference. He is ranked number 135. We are third on his list, but we are the only team to offer him a scholarship, which keeps hope alive, and he is one of our scholarship guys. Now let's talk about a guy, Lorenzo Clemens, out of Oregon. He's a shooter, and he reminds me a lot of Nick Young. He just lets it fly at all costs. 6'5", 205, he's a senior, but number 214 ranked in the class, and it just doesn't seem like we have a shot at him. And he's on the east coast. Uh, he's on the west coast, and we're all the way on the east coast. And it just isn't a marriage that will happen. We kind of scouted him, and you know, he just didn't seem interested. So we kind of don't have a shot. We're not going to offer him the scholarship. But let's talk about probably the guy that I want the most because he is interested in us. He's close to home. Trey Williams out of Brooklyn, New York, six five two fifteen, and he can shoot the ball pretty well. You see, his three point shot is a B plus. I'm liking that a lot. He has a good medium range shot as well. He can drive the lane a little bit, but he's not really a high flyer and a dunker, but he does play decent defense. And that's one thing I do like about him. I kind of compare him a little bit to Kyle Korver because he can shoot so well, but he can defend. So I want to give him a kind of a three and D label. You know, he reminds me of kind of of a shorter Trevor Ariza. He's not as athletic as Trevor Reza, but he can defend and shoot like a perfect 3 and D 6'5 guard. Maybe he's more on the lines of Bradley Beal. I would say that's kind of a fair comparison, but I do want to see what he can do. He has pretty good potential at 6'5". So I do want to talk about a power forward out of Compton, California. It looks like he's headed to USC. Jamal Shower, 6'9", 210. He doesn't have any scholarship offers right now, so I'm wondering if he's going to commit because we do have uh the recruiting period coming up that week period where players can commit and we'll see what he does but i'm not going to offer him a scholarship because we're way too far behind i just don't see it being realistic that we get him he can shoot the three well for a stretch four and you know i do want to keep my eye on him but i don't think we have a chance now let's talk about mike j now mike j is probably one of my favorite prospects here the number 136 ranked player the number 28 ranked power forward but he reminds me of Lamar Odom he's a Lamar Odom mold and I think that you know he's just really really talented all around he's probably the most all-around guy that we have on our board but we just don't have a shot at these guys and that's the thing we kind of gotta we gotta kind of recruit in our range we're not really in probably top 150 range but we do like these guys a lot and we'll see how their college career goes but we do have good news. We do have a guy interested in her, in us that is probably ranked in the top 120 in his class. His name is Austin Barron. He's a point guard, 6'2", 193. And one thing that he does do well is that he sets his guys up pretty well. And I, I like that a lot. He doesn't shoot the ball well at all. I would say he's more of kind of a rebounder 
and kind of a get his guys involved type of point guard and he's definitely a pass first guy he's probably he probably reminds me of a little bit of a younger jason kidd jason kidd could not shoot in the beginning of his uh career but he kind of got better he developed the jump shot and that kind of came with time so hopefully that's what we get with austin baron we are second on his list so i don't really know what we're going to get out of him but he's a guy to keep your eye on so let's just look at the three guys we did offer a scholarship to. I'm leaving the fourth scholarship open because I'm not sure where I want to go with it. But looking at Austin Barron, he's an interesting guy. Uh, we're actually second on his list. Michael Hughes, we're third on his list. The only scholarship offer, actually. And then Trey Williams, uh, we're actually third or second, are we? Are we the second? We're actually second on his list. So at 95%, I'm assuming that probably during the recruiting period that Austin Barron will make a decision. He's at 100% interest, but... We're his only scholarship, but I do want to look at a couple more guys here and just guys that, you know, we're kind of interested in. Ronaldo Verdejo is actually out of Argentina. Now, I don't really have too much unlocked with him at all, but I do want to keep an eye on him. But one guy I do have unlocked, Patrick Nagunu. So he's actually a guy out of Cameroon, 6'7", 210, and he actually has a B-plus shot. I want to keep my eye on that. Uh, I want to see if he's more of like a defensive stopper because we do need some guys that can play defense. We don't have, you know, a replacement right now for Lee. He's graduating and he's kind of a good defensive post player. We'll see how it goes for him. But I do need to offer a four scholarship to somebody. I'm going to scout a little bit. So let's scout these guys, actually. Let's see what uh, Verdejo ends up being here. And we unlock some of his ratings. Let's just see. Uh, no, we didn't. So let's uh, email him. I mean, I don't really know the system too well, but I know that, you know, we can just scout these guys by using points. And I don't really know exactly what these guys do well. Let's check out a couple of other guys. So let's talk about the num number 439 ranked guy in the class. He's a three-star recruit, Henry Cole, a 6'1 point guard. And he's kind of slight ability. He's 170 pounds. But I don't have any of his ratings unlocked, but I'm looking at his averages in the amateur basketball league. And look at him. I mean, he's pretty good. At 6'1", he averaged 10 and 7. And then also, he shot 37% from 3. So that kind of lets me know that he's actually a pretty good rebounder as a point guard. And also, he's pretty active on defense. He had 16 total steals and 58 rebounds. I mean, that's pretty good, but he did have 18 turnovers. That's kind of alarming. But he did shoot 34%. I want to see that get up. But I do like this guy. He's actually pretty good. And we can use some points on him. But um, I'm not going to use any big points on him yet because it is kind of in the middle of the season. I should have been probably going after this guy earlier. But he has a lot of potential. So another guy I want to keep my eye on is Noah Burnett. He's a number one or number 457 guy, 99 at his position at a small forward. And we are kind of unranked right now on his list. We haven't gone after him at all, but I do like his numbers here. He's kind of a well-balanced guy. He's got an assist, a steal, six rebounds, seven points in the amateur basketball league. And he shot 36% from three. So maybe let's uh, kind of uh, add him to our board and see what he can do. But he's a guy to keep your eye on. I don't know what his potential is or anything. We'll have to kind of see as we go. The last guy I want to keep my eye on is James Hazel, 6'7". He's a senior from Durham, North Carolina, number 101 ranked in his class. He's a power forward, a two-star guy. But one thing I really, really like about him is that I can see that he's an all-around player by looking at his steals and blocks. Eight steals, eight blocks, and he had 12 and a half points. He averaged at 6'7". That's pretty good. And he shot 47% from the field, Let me know that he's pretty efficient and he also shot 33 percent from three so we're actually going to add him to our list and see what we come up with so this was the recruiting episode and here is the final target list looking at mike gonzalez he is our top recruit on our board he's a five star along with anthony brunson i'm not sure if we're going to have a legit shot at them but it's worth going after them we did create them so we got to go after them of course looking at michael hughes he's 93 percent locked we're kind of in a battle for him but looking at the other top guys i mean we did pretty good here as we kind of we kind of have a target list of guys that are higher and then a couple of two stars that are lower but i do want to get some talent on our squad we got to shoot high at least as high as we can because we're not going to cheat or anything got going in the top 100 because we're just harvard not a lot of team not a lot of guys are going to come to us 
but we do want to you know get the best out of these guys let's just i'm just going to go through these guys really quick just see if we can see their averages in these games as you see austin barron's average nine he only shot 18 percent from three that's kind of alarming but just looking at the rest of our guys kirby bates 10 points two rebounds uh only shot 33 percent from the field i don't know about him as well but looking at henry cole i am really impressed along with james hazel i'm pretty impressed with as well and then noah burnett so all these guys i mean we'll see how it goes um i don't really know who's the best looking prospect on our board right now let me know who you guys think i'm going through the ratings right now so you can see them but let me know who you guys think is going to be a pretty good player and i just noticed that casey mcdonald actually shoots the three at an a minus that's actually pretty good at 610 but we do still have two years of recruiting for him so that's going to do it for this episode make sure you hit subscribe hit that like button we're hopping straight back into some more action next episode so stay tuned let's get it let's go